Wow. You can still pull something off, actually. We can go Doctor Doom. Hmm. Three so of Mystique. Oh, this is gonna be how many cards do you have? Huh. Where's gonna play that last card? Oh dang. Shoot, that's all I know. He has three cards. Yeah, I should just go for value. Let's just do this. Yo! Oh my, that was sick. Oh, yo, yo, that was so crazy. What's up guys, welcome back. This is Bamboo, you're watching Bamboo Gaming. I hope everyone's doing well. For today's video, I wanna talk about Arrow. Right now, Arrow is in a wonky spot because of her effect change, making her only move the last enemy card played on the location that she's dropped. The cool thing is she did get a buff, a plus one, but right now the only deck that can use her effect most efficiently is a Doomwave deck. There's probably other decks that I'm not thinking about right now, but this is the deck that got me to infinite, so I used Arrow most of the time to win. Actually, my last game that I got infinite for the first time, I used Wave, Arrow, She-Hulk as my last turn play. And it's super powerful still, and it's even more powerful now because of the plus one buff. You can probably get her um, a lot of her value in a Shuri deck because of the plus one. Now she's going to be a 516 where she moves a card. So it makes her powerful in that regard. But the most the, most of the time your win condition is wave turn five she hulk and dr doom to spread the power but you also have a couple of other win conditions using uh, she hulk shang chi she hulk arrow so this deck is still really powerful and kind of like the only tech card i have right now is green goblin because now that the meta is kind of um has dropped thanos green goblin is a pretty great tech card because now if you have priority and there's an open space, you can drop Green Goblin and get priority to uh, canceling out and even making their, I guess, turn four play because they're going to drop Galactus on turn four after wave, or you can even do it on turn five. So once they see that Green Goblin play, they're definitely going to lose because they only dropped the f not even a lot of power because they'll drop cards like Psylocke or Sunspot without any power, uh, Electro, and most of the time they'll probably have a Leech on turn, not Leech, a Sandman on turn 4, so it'll make a Galactus play uh, utterly useless because it'll be a negative 1 on turn f 4 or 5. So that's the uh, reason why I have Green Goblin in this deck, and Mr. Fantastic is here because it's pretty good to spread power and a little bit more power because sometimes Dr. Doom only spreading five is pretty strong, but a clean seven on a lane is pretty strong on itself too, which uh seven can usually hold its own. They would have to drop multiple cards to overpower a five, but it's really hard to overpower a seven on a lane, especially if you can choose um, where Lizard can go and it'll help him Kind of hold down the lane so i like mr fantastic in this deck as well as green goblin and we also have the other cards we have sunspot iceman scorpion armor is a good one and this is just a solid deck it's pretty you could probably change things around you could the one tech card i think you could change is mr fantastic right now or i guess iceman scorpion lizard but i i think this is super staple um just because hand disruption is really strong, uh, reducing my negative one is really strong, especially now that uh, Hulk, She-Hulk got reduced to minus one, that extra negative one on Scorpion is going to be more efficient and more impactful. Also, guys, I'm just trying to reach 100 subscribers, so uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like, share the video, whatever, whatever, whatever. But uh, yeah, let's get into some games, and thank you for watching. Let's go. We have Nexus for our first location. Yeah, why not? We can go Iceman, and what's cool is if we use Mr. Fantastic in the middle, we can also get the bonus 
on using Mr. Fantax Mr. Fantastic's effect. Oh, that kind of kills it actually. Uh, no. Ooh, that kind of sucks. Yeah, that sucks. We can go. Oof. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, armor. And then we'll drop Sunspot, giving him plus two more. And then we also have a good wave play. All we need is Shang-Chi or Arrow. Okay. We have Lizard. We can put him in the middle. Negating his effect. So that's going to be pretty good. And then we'll do a wave and then Doctor Doom. Perfect. We'll snap here because that is the play. Unless he arrows me on the Nexus. Yeah, he can't really win here. He would have to really commit to the left, his right. And he already showed me that he only destroyed one, so he can't get death off. But if he destroys something now, it'll be really problematic. Yeah, now it's problematic. Hmm. Technically, I can just do this. So we got Tur. What's his name? JJ Cool Bear. JJ Cool Bear in the house. All right, turn two. I like the new effect that happens when you uh, have unspent energy with, uh, and then you see She Hulk's mana change. I like that new effect. Next again is the location. Mm, we can go armor. Yeah, we can go armor and then Mr. Fantastic. And we also have Green Goblin because he might do something funky. Cool. Now we have the play. We can go Mr. Fantastic on the left. Ooh, he goes Wong. Mmm... Dude, th I don't think. Yeah. Well, uh, that's tough. We'll just go Green Goblin. So, this is a pretty good time to use Arrow. Hopefully, it actually does something. We can go Arrow on the right. Ooh, that's tough. We can go wave, actually. We'll, we'll go wave. Hopefully this is not crazy. Oh, no. Four. Five. Oh, that's crazy. We have a lot we can do. We can go... That will actually help us win both locations. Yeah, because 9 plus 8 is 17. And 
And then, hmm, that's tough. Shoot. Maybe, oh God. That's tough. I don't think Wave is going to help, actually. Really thinking about this. Let's see. Oh, damn. Wow. Hazmat play. That was wonky. Why would he do that? We got Xander, and the guy we're playing is Crocta, and he's playing, ooh, a Bast. Oh, I love Bast. Hmm. We got Gamma Lab. We can go Iceman. <laughs> wow. That actually hurt. First to fill this gets a plus six. We can go. Oof. Yeah, let's see. Dang. Oh no. Yeah, this in here says up a lot actually. Oh, that's hot. We can go. Oh wow, that's hot. We can go. Oof. 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 Yeah, that's perfect. We can actually play leader with Shang-Chi, and that allow us to win on the right, for sure. Oh, no, we can't, because what the hell? Leader just going to be there. Oh. Let's just say, I hope... Oh, man. This would be so crazy. Let's go. Let's go. Please don't let it be like an arrow or something, man. Oh no. Oh my god. If he has I think he has arrow for sure. If he arrows, oh I mean not arrows, if he uh Shang Chi's. Oh man, if he Shang Chi's, that'd be so crazy. Oh that's so crazy. Oh Dark Hawk. Oh, I kind of wish it was Shang Chi, y'all. Dang, that is perfect. Los Diablos base. We can go Iceman in the middle. X Mansion after turn three, add a random card for each player. We can go Scorpion on the right. Card here at plus one power. Ooh, we'll just do. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, actually, let's seal the deal on this one. Oh, 
I'll use Rhino. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. Thank God. RNG was already going to hit that middle one. We can go Mr. Fantastic now on the middle. We can snap here. Doesn't invest in anything. That's so cool. Actually, Rhino Pixel is not so bad. Destros is awaiting. Thinking. He's probably thinking. Oh, he plays three cards. Wow. Armor. So two. Zero. It's another one. Wow. Really? Wow. He can still pull something off, actually. We can go Doctor Doom. Hmm. Three of Mystique. Oh, this is gonna be how many cards does he have? Huh? Where's he gonna play that last card? Oh dang! Shoot, that's all I know. He has three cards. Well, that's 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 a hard call. I should just go for value at this point. Yeah, I should just go for value. Let's just do this. Oh! Yo! Oh my! That was sick! Oh! Yo! Yo! That was so crazy!